Um, I'd like to start by thanking you for coming out tonight to help us celebrate the reopening of our beautifully refurbished new theatre. Many of you played a huge part in its renovation, and tonight's our way of saying a little thank you. Uh, it's great to see so many familiar faces out there tonight, all looking glamorous and all dressed up. Um, I have to say, after lockdown, getting into this suit wasn't the easiest thing to do. And uh, I can definitely say that uh, some of the buttons on my shirt are still socially distancing from one another. <laughs> um, so, what have we got lined up for you tonight? We have prepared an evening of music from this amazing band, the British Army Band Colchester here. Yeah. singers to uh, some singing some songs to croon for you and our Mercury playwrights have written you a, uh, a poem tonight actually so they're going to be performing that we've also got Colchester Operatics and the um, Mercury Youth Company performing for you tonight so it's a real uh, what should we say fruit salad of uh, variety for you this evening uh, I really 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 hope you enjoy yourselves I'll be dashing on and off to uh, help people on and off stage as we go but um, let's get going here we go Lauren take it away So now it's my great privilege to invite the Chief Executive of the Arts Council, Dr. Darren Henley, OBE, onto the stage. Thank you. <laughs> and we're here to celebrate a building tonight, but buildings are really important. But we also want to celebrate dancers and musicians and actors and performers. So a huge Colchester cheer for all of our performers tonight. And so we're really proud to be part of this. Thank you for inviting me along to be here with you tonight. Uh, I'm going to get off stage because there's many, many more exciting and more interesting people than me. But uh, you should be very proud of what you're doing here. We're very proud to be your partner. We're here for the long term. We want to make Colchester an even better place than it already is. And it will be artists and arts organisations and museums and libraries that do that. We're very proud of it. Thank you for your time tonight. Have a great evening. <laughs> What a journey we've been on. You'll have to forgive us all if we get a bit emotional this evening. It really has been a roller coaster. Hours of meetings, poring over plans, fundraising applications, contracts. Our whole staff, our board, our contractors have really gone above and beyond. I also want to include our past staff who contributed so much, many of whom are here this evening. This is quite simply the proudest moment in my career. Not only because of the strength and talent and commitment of my colleagues, but seeing all of you return over the last few weeks. It's time to click my heels and exit stage left. Job done. No, not really. But our journey's just started. But it did start seven years ago. We'd no idea we'd be embarking on this project through Brexit, an economic downturn, and of course, an international pandemic. The last one wasn't on my risk register, Arts Council. I'm really sorry about that. But a year late, but we're finally open. But as Darren alluded to, this project would not have happened without the strength of partnership working, locally, regionally, and gaining the national recognition of what a special and vibrant place Colchester really is. Many of you donated personally, through your company, or through your volunteering efforts. We raised more than one million pounds from the people of Colchester. We really cannot thank you. And also, as Darren said, I wanted to publicly thank our principal partner, Colchester Borough Council. The cheek, when I walked down the hill to a meeting and said, 
that we wanted to build a new theatre. They immediately embraced the idea. Through thick and thin, they've been there for us. And I really wanted to put this on record, as the public sector can get blamed for all sorts. They've been amazing, and they've all been visionary. But it really has been a privilege to work on this project. It's yours. Thank you once again for coming and sharing this historical moment. Thank you. And I don't think I realised until we were handed this beautiful, shiny new building, actually just how much the old 1972 original version was cramping our style. Finally, we have a fully accessible building. We can invite anyone to come front of house and backstage to work and play with us. And also, we now have everything under one roof. So, whereas we're one of the few theatres that still have a workshop department and wardrobe department, we make our own sets and costumes, and we used to waste a lot of time travelling between different sites. We now have the wardrobe under this roof, alongside the workshop and the theatre, and we also have our own rehearsal room, our own dance studio, our own creative engagement space. That means if you're coming to a send party night, you know where your space is. You're coming every time to the same place. That's really important. And that's meant that we can raise our ambitions and actually that we can raise the quality of our artistic excellence. It also means that finally we're allowed to commit to the ladder of progression that we've been talking about for a very long time. So that means that this week there may be a new producer or artist working in the rehearsal room for something for the studio next year that with a little bit of nurturing from our talent department might be able to go on tour the year after and finally grow to the point where those artists are on this stage, filling this auditorium. That's what we really want. We want to invest and be the engine of the East for new work and new artists. Thank you. Thank you all. very cautious about coming out but actually you know there's so much so much to lift your spirits and actually just come out and have fun um, it's great to just come back and like be welcomed by where you grew up you know um, yeah it's just an amazing feeling I'm still buzzing I'm like ah, shaking <laughs> what do you think of the building itself oh the building is amazing um, it's completely changed to how it was um, and I feel like it just brings like this openness, it allows like light in um, and it's a great place to just work and get on with like rehearsals and stuff. Yeah, I, I find it beautiful. It's beautiful. Actually, our younger group, Cultural Operatic Society, second edition, CO2, joined the Mercury Youth Players and we're on stage tonight doing the Matilda number. So I was very proud to watch them do that. And they were very excited to be back in the theatre. <laughs> uh, ecstatic is one word and relieved is another. You never quite know what's going to happen on nights like this. We just rehearsed it all of it today, so watching it all come together was a joy, but um, any, any time anything can go wrong, so it's a little bit nail-biting. So what have the last few years been like for you? Because you, you've been wanting to put on shows in a theatre. Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, definitely. Sometimes I definitely thought I was going to be the artistic director that never was. There was moments where I was wondering, are we ever going to open this theatre, and will I have a job in uh, a year's time? We've got a really, really world-class set of facilities for people here in Colchester, and I think that's really important, but also for people right across the country to come into Colchester and to really see how great theatre can be created in a, in a place um, that is, is known throughout history for, for the work that it's done. You know. We want to be the engine of the East for new talent, new works, etc. We're already in discussions with some really interesting London theatres that are smaller, that are more about new writing, about uh, new plans, new work. 
and then certainly taking our work out on tour nationally. So there are all kinds of possibilities and we have our eye on the West End for two shows. One that we hope will be autumn 2022, spring 23, and one that will be summer 23. So watch this space. Five years ago, to this very day, we launched our fundraising campaign at the House of Commons. And it's just amazing. So it's been a long journey. And actually, my predecessors were also working on some plans as well. But we kind of pulled it together when I arrived seven years ago and we're on that journey and it's completed.